An Asian man was just attacked in New York City, but won't press charges. Let's talk about what's going on, because this is going viral. Yeah, let's run the clip. Boom, this took place on the Bronx Expressway. I'm gonna pop up a map right here. Um, people are saying that this, I don't wanna say he's Italian, but this buff, shorter guy has done this before in Jersey and actually knocked out a Turkish woman. A hijabi woman who was recently here from Turkey was picking up someone for Uber at Target. And this car came up behind her and slammed on the horn because he didn't like that she was picking up her Uber customer in front of Target. So he drove up to her window and started punching the glass of her window. And she was terrified that he was gonna break the glass. As the man got out of his car and punched her in the face, knocked her out in front of that target where she blacked out and woke up later with the police there. However, this man, and I wanna say he's Korean, I'm not sure he is just because he's like going into Jersey. That's what makes me think Bergen County. This older Asian man, Andrew, is choosing not to press charges. And it's got the internet just speculating about a lot of things. Yeah, cause definitely, man, if you saw the clip, this is not just a regular like road rage, rage thing. Like the dude stops his car, he blocks his the van, he goes in, punches him, takes his key. The Asian guy tries to jump into the back of the vehicle but then almost gets crushed and could have died. Well, it looks like almost half of his body was about to get cut off, right? Yeah, man, it looked really scary. So um, we don't know what's going on, but there's a lot of speculation. But of course, David, a lot of Asians are talking about this because this falls in line with a lot of the wave of Asian attacks. And or Asians not reporting it or wanting to press charges or deal with the whole fiasco, obviously, that is the American legal system, right? Exactly. We made a video about this. You can find it in the status report from TAF where they talk about how a lot of Asian Americans don't feel safe, but they don't want to report crimes. Anyways, guys, uh, we're going to talk about it. So please, if this video is interesting to you, hit that like button right now and check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. All right. So I saw this go viral a week ago, but now it's going viral on a few more mainstream sites mm. now that I guess the, the law has sort of like run its course. Right. So the law has contacted this older Asian man who's 66 years old and he has decided to not press charges. He said no charges. But there's been other Instagram pages that did investigation on this X5. They pulled the license plate and they said that this guy potentially was involved in another road rage accident in Clifton, New Jersey, where he's from. Dude, so this guy's just a wild dude. So a lot of people are speculating, is this guy a cop? Was he a former cop or does he have family that is high ranking in some sort of system, potentially even mafia related system to protect him? Because how can he go around assaulting immigrants, Andrew, and not be in jail? Right, right, right. This seems crazy. So uh, I guess, David, we don't, nobody knows the truth right now, but everybody's just speculating. Someone sees an Asian guy get attacked who's getting overpowered. Right, the video is clear as day, right? The Asian guy almost dies, so it falls in line. Of course, we don't know how this started. We don't know if they know each other, actually, if they had some type of dealings with each other. Um, but what we do know is that this Asian guy, he doesn't want to uh, press charges, and but that also falls in line because a lot of Asians don't. Right. I saw that, a so. funny theory that's saying uh, that guy just like had a gambling debt and that was his bookie. But obviously, more realistically, Andrew, I think that he, there was some sort of like traffic dispute over like cars on the freeway that's what i, I mean, believe it seems that's like a, what i think is most logical so you think it almost started on the road that's your suspicion you don't think that these people know each other from Dude, before no i mean but yeah it is interesting that the guy seemingly pulls a cop like maneuver or some sort of maneuver in terms of like cutting off the minivan and the guy looks like he like owns a business or maybe as an uber driver he he looks like he knows what he's doing when he blocks the car yeah like, i mean like do you think that's a regular behavior to just fight somebody on the freeway is that something a regular person just wants to do while traffic's going yeah this guy's either a gangster or he's a cop i mean he definitely feels confident in doing that but uh 
Anyways, let's get into the comments section and we'll do some takeaways at the end. All right, so of course, everybody's going against this guy. People are calling him names. They're calling him this, that. There's a lot of speculation on who he is. He does look like a mafia goon henchman, to be honest, just based off his all black shirt and stuff like that. Like, not saying he is. I'm just saying how it looks. Um, somebody said, why was the Asian man engaging? He, he should have kept his windows and his doors up. Uh, because it's true that after he punches him initially, Andrew, when he kind of comes back to yell at him, the Asian guy does kind of get him with the little thing. But it kind of is good, too, because it kind of shows some fight and some feistiness in the old Asian man. Yeah, I think it's twofold. Like, one, I do like to see that the guy was, uh, the Asian guy was able to fend him off with the long guard, keeping his hands out and kind of like disrupting his punches, right? That's like a tactic, but also... Why was he engaging? You mean, like why he, did he have his window down? He actually had a chance to drive away. He almost drives away at first, but then he stops, and then the guy comes back, and then they, like, scuffle some more. But what if he had decay rage, too? So he was engaging. Right. Well, <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He's not just only thinking, like, fear, fear, fear. He had the fight, 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 too. Like, yeah, he yeah. He had both chemical surging in his body. Yeah, you know, I mean, I'm glad he put up a but, fight, but I also thought he could have maneuvered out hey, of it earlier. Here's what my thing, too, is like a lot of people don't understand the older guys from Asia, they're used to this thing, but they're not used to how risky it could get in America with the guns and the knives and like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, they could be feisty dudes from back home in their homelands, too. Yeah, though. it's true that like, you know, if you grow up in this country and you know how often people have handguns, there is a fear that you're like, well, I don't have a handgun, so I'm going to like, I'm thinking of the worst case scenario, this guy has a gun or a knife. You're saying that's the thinking of somebody born and raised here. Possibly, you know, but then maybe if you don't think about it, you're just like, yo, I just got to fight him regardless, you know? And so it's twofold, you know? Yeah, I mean, not everybody has a gun or a Somebody's knife. Somebody's saying but. was how come he doesn't want to press charges? And this is a common uh, thing from the Asian American community, right? Because an Asian American would, but this guy could have spent like, 40, 50 years overseas, he just doesn't want to deal with, right? For a number of reasons. Some people said maybe it's because he's illegal. Maybe it's because he just doesn't want to deal with it. He has no faith in the law enforcement. There's a fear of retaliation. If he really thinks that guy is mafia, you know what I mean? Like, it's going to be a whole fiasco. It's going to be crazy. Yeah, yeah, we don't know. I mean, we don't know the other this Asian guy's background and if he has something that he doesn't want the police to look into or he, he knows it's not worth the trouble or he knows that... I don't know. He did something to this guy to piss this guy off. I'm not saying, I'm just saying there must've been some type of interaction before this. And I guess we don't know what it is. Right, right, right. Um, somebody said that this guy clearly has an immense hatred toward immigrants because this same license plate was involved in the punching of a Turkish woman in Jersey. Right. Clearly this dude is a bad dude and he probably need, he needs to get punished for it. And uh, I'm sure, I hope that any Asians working in the legal field, the political field, are escalating this incident right now through the proper channels just to see what's going on, guys. You know, like we said, we can't be fully assumptive of what happened, but just escalate it if you have the uh, pathways to do so, right? Um, somebody was just saying, man, this guy clearly has gotten away with it before because who would be so brazen in 2024? Andrew, there's phones capturing everything. This guy's acting like it's the old days when nobody could record anything. Right, right. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, of course, a lot of people are saying that a lot of immigrants, there's a mistrust of public infrastructure, such as cops, sheriffs, and firefighters. And then somebody else said, what, even the firefighters? You don't trust the firefighters? I'll tell you this, I trust the firefighters. I, I trust the firefighters more. I trust the firefighters. Because they're not law enforcement. They're literally supposed to be the first on the scene. Like, but yes, if you're there was that movie Copland talking about like, you know, the blue shield and like there's things. I don't know, I just... Dude, there's always going to be a variance. I would never paint all cops as good and all cops as bad. But for the most part, when I call the police, when I have needed them, they came. But yes, there's some cops that are better than others. For sure, it's a variance. I remember one time, Andrew, um, our mom, you know, had a, got attacked when we were growing up and they sent the Asian cop. Mm. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. sent, sent the Japanese American cop, the fifth generation guy. Um, this guy said, <laughs> this is Andrew, the, the comment spiral section, of course, goes everywhere. Somebody said, I hate to say it. A lot of Asians look as white, look at whites as gods. They are just going to let them get away with anything. I don't think this is the reason why he's letting them get away with it. Yeah, I don't think, I think there, there's a lot of reasons. I, we uh, don't know. I mean, like I said, like I remember somebody at our church got punched in the face in the parking lot during Christmas at South Center Mall. And they didn't report it. Yeah, that's true. Dude, Asians underreport crimes against them. 
They're scared of the system. They're scared to pick up the phone. They're scared to report it. They don't trust the system. They don't know the system. They don't know if they should report it. They almost don't know if it's reportable. They're like, is this a crime? Is yeah. that a crime? Did something just bad happen to me? Do I have to talk to like three different police officers now? And they very much have this almost like, it's hard to explain, but like this guest in a foreign land mentality. You know how yeah. if you are a... And, and maybe you even view yourself internalize your identity as an uninvited guest. You know, like an uninvited guest might, might get slapped around a little bit and they're like, okay, okay, I'm like, yeah, yeah I'm like, just here. Like, well, you know, you know, I'm in their land and, you know, I don't want to cause trouble and I don't want to take up resources and I just don't want to go through this. And I don't want to trouble my life either. Yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah. I have just uh, this goal I need to achieve. Yeah, I know. I mean, maybe even if you're not undocumented, there still is that fear in the back of the mind that you're going to get like deported or that they're going to come down extra hard on you or something for no reason, you know? Uh, ultimately, Andrew, what are your takeaways? For me, I'm glad that the older man fought back, but I did also see at the end it almost went downside too. It's such a, man, it's such a gray area because you know how a lot of people, they want to see Asians fight back, right? But the truth is there is risks involved with fighting back and especially how you fight back, right? Mm -hmm. And then, of course, Andrew, there was people in the comment section, oh, man, in Texas, that's why I got the right to carry and all this stuff. And I'm just like, man, I don't know. This. What if everybody's just shooting each other, too? I don't know. Why can't we just be more civil to each other? Yeah, I don't know, man. I would just say, you know, everybody makes their own decisions about their own safety and how much they want to evade situations. Um I think the Asian guy probably could have exited the situation a little earlier, but I'm not saying he's wrong for trying to stay back and fight. Right, stand up for himself. But again, he almost got himself killed, like, to be honest. That was crazy. Also, you could say that that guy almost killed him. Yeah, that guy almost killed him, but I'm saying that guy would have definitely been charged for something, at least involuntary manslaughter or something. I don't know. Anyways, but uh, you guys, uh, you know, videos like this always are triggering to some level, even though we don't really know the backstory. But regardless... Uh, it was an Asian person getting attacked, and we're just kind of sick of it. So I guess uh, let us know in the comments down below how you guys feel about it. And uh, maybe we'll leave some links to other, like, resources to, like, some of our friends' Instagram pages who are doing, like, legal stuff for Asians. Um, but, yeah, check them out. Hey, guys, let us know if you guys have any additional info. You know, we just know what we know. Until next time, we're the Hot Pot Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.